I know the penultimate work is always kind of the, the the major one. What what were you hoping to feel from her this morning out there? Was she there, the, the devil? Well, just see how she she was. You know, you know, uh, feeling wise. You know, we know she can go as quick as we want to. Uh, I think she's very well, you know, within herself, and uh, always been a very good uh, workhorse in the morning. So very pleased, you know, how she moves, and uh, fitness level, you know, look like we are right, you know, where we need to be, and. Um, I'm excited for the race and like I said, you know, she had a race already, already uh, at Del Mar this year, which mm -hmm. I think is uh, extremely important. Uh, we'll see how she does, but uh, I think we're coming in into the race you now with a big chance and obviously uh, we have to beat Lectrusca, but we beat her once already, so it could be done. It's going to be extremely difficult, but uh, it's possible. Hey, so talk about that race when you did beat Lectrusca and what's the key to, you think, beating Lectrusca? I'm into feeling good, you know, the, that day, you know, but that day uh, I broke extremely well and he broke, uh, she broke a little bit flat footed, you know, so I was able to take over and uh, get the lead. Uh, after that, you know, he couldn't really, like, came back to me on time, but uh, fitness wise, you know, we were probably like 60, 70% at the time. Uh, there was, you know, late decision going into the race. And uh, so we had a little bit of excuse too, you know, she had some excuse, but her, you know, that was our first race of the year. Uh, but I think that was probably the key, you know, was definitely being in front of her, you know, right from the beginning. So now I think they learn from that mistake too. So now they always try to keep her, you know, for sure ahead of everyone. But we'll see how she goes, you know. Uh, we are a little bit like a lighter campaign than her. So hopefully it, it will pay off, you know. But uh, so far it's 1-1, one, one, you know, this year. I'm excited, you know. Uh, we'll see what's going on. And there's also some new shooter in the race. It seems like a lot of people are kind of already handing the divisional trophy over to to Latruska before this step is even run. Do you take a little bit of a issue, so to speak, with that? <laughs> no, I think so far, you know, she she's the most accomplished flea uh, mm -hmm. this year by far. That's not even a, a discussion. Mm -hmm. But uh, most of the time, those those uh, those championships, you know, uh, you win them at the fall, you know, especially right after Breeders' Cup. I think Breeders' Cup is a big part of it. And uh, she does a double, also has three grade one this year, so if she wins one more, she will have four. And I don't see why not, you know, uh, she couldn't get the division if, of course, she, she ended up winning the, the D stuff and beating the Trusco. How does she compare with last year, She Dares the Devil? Uh, more mature, you know, she's four years old now, uh, more racing experience, and just uh, uh, mentally and physically, uh, she's stronger than she was last year. I think that was the best thing happened for her last year, you know, uh, pull her away, you know, uh, right after the spinster and give her a little break, uh, give her time, you know, to fresh up and uh, it pays off, you know, most of the time when you do these kind of things, uh, you get rewarded, you know, by, uh, by the horse. Delmar was really good to you last time the Breeders' Cup was there with Gunrunner. Um, what's the key to um, Delmar's, I guess it's the shortest stretch of any of the current Breeders' Cup venues. And, and how does that come into play, you think, with She Dares the Devil? Well, I think Delmar, I think especially on dirt, is, I would say if you have tactical speed, it's probably a little bit, you know, uh, better than other tracks. But uh, the key to success is very simple. You just need to have the right horse. But coming back to your question, you know, tactical speed, it's important, you know. And you were on a, a Central Quality this morning too, correct? Yeah. How did he kind of feel for, for you? He's great actually, he's an interesting horse, he's extremely smart and he does just what he has to do and uh, today was probably one of the only time he passed the horse, you know, his <laughs> company, passed him by a neck but he knows what to do and he came back and doesn't even blow, you know, he's a, he's a very smart horse, you know, I think that's why he's, he's, he's very good, you know, at what he does because uh, he always has something left, you know, for the next one and uh, hopefully he can go all in for, for the classic, would be good for, for the team. Yeah, Brad has mentioned that before where people who maybe don't know him watch and think, oh, he's getting outworked. He's like, he's not getting outworked. That's just him. He's not going to blow you away in the morning. He just, he knows to save himself for when it counts. Yeah, exactly. Well, I know him for a while, you know, before he even run, you know, I breathe with him uh, multiple times with him or sometimes, you know, on him. And uh, that's how he does, you know, you just need to adapt to the horse. But like you said, you know, so if you don't have, uh, if you don't see the horse, you know, train every single day and breathe every single week, then you can't really, you know, uh, give a statement, you know. Uh, we, we know the horse and we know how it does, and uh, for him it's more like a fitness level, you know, uh, visually type of thing than, you know, looking at the clock and say, oh, he looked like he was a little bit slow, or sometimes uh, uh, look like he's been out of work, but uh, 
No, he's doing great right now, and um, Platinix Go is coming into the race in good shape too. So I think Brad has a, has a great chance, you know, for the classic this year.